That is properly vulgar. Yeah, that's yeah. And we're live. <sighs> Hold on, let me get. <sighs> It's the most we've touched in 15 years. I know, right? (sighs) It's time to do this shit yet. Yeah. This is hand cramping cold. Good. This beer. I don't have. Do we know who's going? Yeah. I think we can start. All right. Are we? We're not. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> hey. hey, everybody. <laughs> it's your old friend, Matt. It's your old buddy, Matt. <laughs> Look who's back in town. Hey, everybody. This is Matt. And we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching a Friday reveal. 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 Oh, everybody. Reveal. That was a good one. <clears throat> We have a six guitar reveal. Hey, where's the guitar we made? Where's the uh, where's the guitar so body? Right there. It's behind you. Yeah. Can we, uh, the tape. Oh, thanks, Mark. So, Chris, we were. <laughs> so we, <laughs> so we, we just finished a five day build a classic, Fender gu- guitar workshop and it's part of our thank you doug no i got it now and beers um oh that's a great idea all right so part of our wood sweat and beers build a classic fender workshop and this one was super cool and we even built a body we actually built a neck but i didn't get the bridge until today so i'm like ah we'll just put ours together later now what you may not know is if you come and you want to build a left-handed guitar, you can. If you want to smoke left-handed cigarettes, you can, but you can't use power tools if you decide to do that. So you can do that. You can use power tools and then smoke left-handed cigarettes, but don't do do not do it the other way around because that's part of the safety lecture that I give every mm-hmm. Monday. So, Chris, um, a lot of people are like, well, could I make a super strat? Absolutely. Uh huh. Yeah. Why not? Um, so, so we, we built, we started it. We actually have the neck is ready to go because you like demoed all like fret stuff uh-huh. and, and uh, we shaped the neck. Mm-hmm. That was cool. And, um, and, and I just got the, the left-handed Floyd today. Now I got to tell you, I meant to make a right-handed one of these, <laughs> but, but I thought, you know what? There, we have people who are uh, play left-handed that they might they might want a cool guitar with a Floyd too. Yep. Oh man. Okay. So, as I was saying, we have a bunch of people who follow us that want a left-handed guitar too, because left-handed guitars mm-hmm. don't get a lot of love. So, especially one Walker Floyd equipped guitars mm-hmm. in 2022. Back in 1986, you can probably find these at every music shop in your area. But today, tricky to find. So, so yeah, so so this is, um, yeah, so this is, you know, it's got a great big cavity, so you could load it with. A, we, we were there was talk of putting a rat pedal in here. Yeah, it just didn't quite fit, right? Well, no, we we could have made it fit, well, but, you, but I'm like, we could do anything we want. We could do but... anything we want, but I, I was like, I don't want to use my disassembled rat pedal for a lefty guitar that i can't play so yeah i still want to put this thing together completely right-handed well as far as the nut and the yeah i mean you could right yeah yeah yeah. so where's the neck for this bad dog it's over there somewhere well can we can we get it somebody uh i may have uh well i mean we made a neck for it yeah it's really nice now who's now who's watching i don't know yeah I don't know. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Yonder it goes. <coughs> so this is we built an upside down neck for it, and but we but we put the inlay 
on so that a lefty guy oh, you know who i saw at the pep boys last night chris uh richie sambora that's right richie sambora and he had a guitar just like this only it had star inlays on it. Mm -hmm. but this isn't about what you and i can make in five days at one of these workshops it's about what someone who came to to hang out with us was was able to build in five short days and you guys are going to see it now if you are interested in coming out to one of these wood sweat and beers workshops and uh, uh, start with a block of, of wood and uh, put in a lot of work. That's the sweat part. And when it's all said and done, have a couple of cold beers with us, then that's that's the beer part. Um, then then you can do that. Now, why do we call it wood, sweat, and beers, Chris? Um, because it's a, uh, a turn of a phrase. Yeah. It's actually, we, we actually didn't steal that from Winston Churchill or whoever. We actually stole it from Richard Rawlings, who says, blood sweat and gears uh-huh no blood sweat and beers sure and and yeah blood sweat and tears yeah yeah, yeah that's a thing and right? and but we don't want any blood no but we do want sweat mm -hmm. and we don't want any tears but every so often we might have a beer yeah too. so so really wouldn't sweat are the two requirements mm -hmm. everything else is up to your own discretion. sure you don't have to no. drink beer no we're having problems yeah they're right who people in the comments we're having we're having serious serious uh, is anybody fun. else on the wi-fi using is the microphone turned on I, yeah i think so it should be should is is it like the little the green little, things is doing the thing a little yeti thing is is uh really? is no plugged? so i think it's it's internet it, uh, it's the wheel is spinning oh we're buffering still yeah oh. well all right Everybody, some other people are saying that the feed is fine for them. Other okay. people are saying it looks good for them. Okay. Yep. Let's look on on that. It looks okay. great. I we just have to go like a, like it's uh, like let's just let's yeah. just go like yeah. like we know what we're doing and and mm -hmm. you know. Gary Redburn says it's looking good. Gary Redburn okay. is a guy you can trust. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So yeah. All right. Yeah. One of my one of my favorite dudes. Yeah. All Doug, right. Doug refreshed. He says it's good. So yeah. Okay. Now All is good. Doug refreshed. He has refreshed his. Oh, screen. he refreshed his yeah, thing. Yeah, everything. Everything's good. Okay. So Carry on. Even, so Carry I'm on. not sure where we were, but before we had serious problems, according to Leslie. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You said. She we, said. They said. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, where where were we, Chris? Um, I don't know. Talking about. Let's just start over again. Go. Hey, everybody! This is Matt from <laughs> Texas Toast Guitars. <laughs> So we have six <laughs> guitars to show you. Yeah. Six guitars to show you that uh, were all built by people who came out here and spent five days with us. Um, Still and spent more days with us. That's right. Why is that? Because they came for the uh, learn to wind a pickup, learn to wind your own pickups with Dylan. So we had Dylan talks six tone. guys spend five days with us. Four of them spent three hours winding pickups and Two trips to the bathroom and one, no, one and no, I don't. I, it's I'm, like 27 days that someone, some of them that's, spent with That's us. right. Yeah. So, uh, you know what everyone's thinking? Hey, Matt, shut up and show off the guitar. So, who's first? <laughs> Our good friend, Tim. All right, Tim. So, Tim has, uh, Tim has a great story. All right. Come on over and sit down. So, uh, give us your name and Tim. where you're from. From Austin, Texas. Uh -huh. I've heard of that place. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the guitar that you built. And if you want to tell any stories, feel free to tell some stories. I'll tell my story. Okay. Uh, I thought, well, when I retire, I'll start doing some things I've always wanted to do. But uh -huh. I ended up getting throat cancer. And pretty much tell everybody, do what you want to do now. Don't wait, because it can sneak up on you. So I decided I wanted to build a guitar. Also decided I wanted to be a worm farmer. <laughs> so my wife, my wife was less concerned about me doing this than raising worms. Uh, do you have a worm farm now? I do. Have a worm What's farm. it called? A uh, red wing on ranch. <laughs> that's so it's my, not called We Got Worms. I, that's I saw, what my father. Wanted. I saw. I saw a movie once called Red Wiggler or Ranch. <laughs> that's all I am. Is, you know. This has been a great experience. I don't know anything about guitars. I don't know how to play guitar. 
And I'm sure these guys don't want me telling people I don't know anything to come out of here. But they took really good care of me. So, Tim, you're going to – you you decided you wanted to have a guitar to take lessons with, right? Right. That's totally rad. Yeah. So – can you show let's show off the guitar that you're gonna that you're yeah, when you show up with that axe yeah about the guitar you built uh well i was fiddling around with the idea of doing a vinyl pick guard which uh -huh. irritates some people but we did a a scuff back finish uh the sunburst was done by chris very well the neck is amazing uh we got to shape them from a block basically so we had a really good time Cool. Um, yeah, so I gave you a, a, a hard time about the uh, Grand Funk Railroad, mm -hmm. um, mostly just because I could. I really, you know, I, how many, how many of oh. this is going to stay on here until they get into the rock and roll hall of fame? <laughs> the fact that Dolly Parton's in there, but Grand Funk is not, yeah, it's a travesty. It, it really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, and and you made this pick card out of a broken record. A broken record. Not that it really matters. Right, it was, right. You know, if you want to cut up a record, you can cut up a record. But uh, but I like to give you a hard time. Yeah. About that. So uh, yeah. yeah. What else? And I just love it. I mean, Do you? Good. I mean, the things they taught me—it's amazing. I I won't be able to build a guitar right mm -hmm. away. Right. But they've given me enough information that I should be able to find a way through it. Cool. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming out. No, thank I enjoyed you. having you. Dylan, here. Dylan helped me wind my pickups. That's right. Yeah, you got to do the. I, yeah. You got to do the Dylan class. How was that? Yeah. It was great. And yeah. the first one, he had a practice set up for us. Uh huh. And when we wound that, we had wires going everywhere and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, when we set up our own, I mean, I, I did all mine without breaking it. I'm really yeah proud of that. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Brad Hutchings requests a close-up of the pick guard that you made, too, Tim. Yeah, just sort of hold it up and there you go. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Very cool. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> hey, so what's what's the big idea with the, uh, the the headstock logo there? Oh, yeah, my parents have always called me Timbo since I was Let's, let's get it get in the, the picture there so, so people can Timbo see. Guitars. That's awesome, man. I'm really, really, I'm really, you did such a good job with that. Like Excellent work, had amigo. Help. Well, Chris and, is a good great classmates. Chris is a good is a good guy. I huh? really am. He's he's the nice one. He is the <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, who's next? <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry! Yeah, no dead air. No dead air. Oh, so so one of the things that was interesting about this class is we built three tellies and three jazz masters, oh. and they're they're if if I didn't already know it before, a Telecaster is a pretty straightforward project and a Jazzmaster is a very not straightforward project. And so uh, as much as I love Jazzmasters, I was thrilled. I had no idea we were gonna build three of them in this class. Um, in, in previous classes, we've built a Jazzmaster and a Jag, which are almost the same guitar, but we've never built three Jazzmasters in the same <laughs> class. Uh, so, so I was pretty excited about that. So, Oh, Ed is sure. excited to see the Jazz Masters because oh, he's, he's got them. Yeah. Where are you from? From Cedar Point, North Carolina. Uh huh. What do you do for a living? And I am a dentist because uh -huh. you needed more dentists in your class. So, yeah, we had a dentist. We, we've had two classes in this month and we've had a dentist in both. Yeah. We've had five Jazz Masters. Jazz, yeah, five Jazz Masters. <laughs> um, so, tell us a little bit about what you built. So, this is a pretty straightforward jazz master mm -hmm. without any modifications uh -huh. um beautiful trim with a surf burst is what i think we ended up calling this uh -huh. it's a beautiful paint job that chris was indispensable in helping me with not that chris was indispensable with any part of this because but you you sprayed some of the the sunburst too because I, I sprayed some burst at one point I, said oh yeah you know you all got to spray too build our nets to our mm -hmm. likings um Using the print router was a exceptional experience. Uh huh. And uh, tell me a little bit about this real quick. So this is uh, the Navy Dental Corps. I am a Navy dentist, finishing thirty years in September. So if you see on my headstock, 
Can we get that? I think it looks good. It's backwards on this, but oh. yeah, I think when they see it, it'll look good. So um, I am retiring in September, September 30th, actually October 1st. And uh, as a little tradition, I passed on some of my tradition to Chris and Matt. Well, thanks. We appreciate that. So, so you... and, and, and a couple things. Uh, Roundabout says, go Navy. Brad Hushings digs it. Uh, Dastardly Dave says, thank you for, for the service. Lefty O says, I've been to Navy Dennis before. So, yeah. And Doc <laughs> just left it at that. Doc says, 30 years. Congrats. <clears throat> yeah, cool. Uh, so, tell us. So, so you showed up and thankfully had your pick guard wired because one of the toughest things about Jazz Masters is there's a ton of wiring, right? There there's is quite a lot of little, little switches. There's a little switch. And there's a couple more pots. And it's very challenging to get all that wire under the pit guard. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm always kind of surprised that there's not more routing just for wires under one of these. So uh, and I forgot to ask Tim, and I, I'm sorry. What was your favorite part of this class? So favorite part was likely using the pin router. Uh -huh. It's not likely that that's something I'm going to get to do again. Not unless you come back. Not unless I come back, yeah. which is... A possibility. Cool. That's My wife awesome. doesn't know this yet. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think we said um, we apologize in advance to your wife. I even wrote it in the book. So yeah. 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 So uh, show off the guitar a little bit. All right. So um, hip shot locking tuners. Mm -hmm. These are uh, Fender Jazzmaster pickups. Uh, vintage sixty five. AVRI bridge mm -hmm. and a. Um, Jaguar tuner with the Mustang saddles. Yep. Yeah. So uh, it turned out really good. Yeah. I'm very happy. Good. I'm glad you are. And it was really fun yeah. having you. Oh, it was great being here. Cool. Guys, awesome. It's been a lot of fun to be with all week. Well, good. Not awesome. you, Dylan. Right? Yeah, not Dylan, but <laughs> everybody else. Dylan's been fun to be with. <laughs> it's been in and out. <laughs> well, awesome. Thanks. All right. Oh, the Lancash Florida Paul. Mm -hmm. We should yeah. actually we should switch back. Well, now it's too late, but um, yeah, because because you mostly work with the tele guys or a lot. The first Dylan's going to switch with you so he can talk about pickup winding. Okay, Paul. that's a that's a perfect idea. Oh, sorry, Paul. Bye, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul, so tell us who you are and where you're from. I'm Paul. I'm from Cameron, Missouri. Uh, yeah, that's who I am. <laughs> Still. Still. It's right on. Still, you know, there was some debate during the week if I'd remain back. So what did you build? I built a telly. A very pretty one. Thank you. With black hardware, hip shot, open gear, locking tuners, uh, the Wilkinson Bridge, Dylan's great pickups that we wound last weekend. Not mine, not mine. We'll get to that in a minute. These yeah. are yours. The, the I want to know. Time, I want to know a little bit over here too. Your your plate is in there backwards, and you've got some fancy stuff in there, right? So what did you do there? Oh, I've got a four way switch <clears throat> for series and parallel, and uh, a nice top hat. Uh, Selector switch. Uh, hold, the, hold the guitar of, up a little bit. Courtesy of there. Dylan. And uh, yeah, 250 CTS pots. I and I did the Chris control plate backwards, <laughs> backwards, which I, I sort of liked. Cool. And I, you, you're the only one I think that went no pit guard. So you did the hard mounted. We had to. Revise the bridge plate or the base plate on the pickup so yep. you can do a hard mount, which is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so let's talk about pickups because those are not my pickups, those are your pickups, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they, 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 they're slightly modified from Dylan's, like a few less wines, but uh, they sound absolutely magnificent. Uh, uh, he's a great instructor, as is Chris and Matt. And uh, cool. every every mistake I made was correctable, so that was well. They made it easy on us. I think that you've got a pretty pretty cool pretty cool guitar here. What did you think? 
uh, of making pickups. I loved it. I loved it. I'm, I'm going to have to get a pickup machine, even if I keep buying pickups from Dylan just to play. It's fun, right? <laughs> yeah. And actually, you're staying around this weekend to do it again. Yep, I liked it so well. I'm going to stay another weekend with Dylan and Leslie and make some more pickups. Cool. cool. Neat. Neat. And we did the same thing. We, we had a practice thing so everybody could just kind of mess around um, mm -hmm. and break wire and tangle it all up and do whatever. <laughs> but you sat down and wound those the first time. Didn't have to start anything over, I don't think. I think. Yeah, on these two, I, I did it the first time. Yeah, yep. awesome. Very, very cool. Yep. And my favorite thing, a little different with the people, the instructors, the other guys, a lot of fun. Of course, the favorite tool is always the pen router. And I have to get one. I must get a pen router. D Doug's got one in his truck right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know. Just back it up to my pickup and I'll push it over by myself. No, right on. Uh, yeah, so it's been, been a great time. Lots of people are commenting about how they like the no pick guard and the all black hardware. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, neat. Thanks. It's guys. A slick guitar, man. Slick guitar, Paul. Yep. Thanks. Very cool. Yep. And we're gonna have another fun weekend. So yeah. yeah. Awesome. Take care, everyone. What was your favorite? Oh, you already oh, said. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean that. Yeah. It yeah. was winding pickup though. Yep. Winding pickups is a really all cool right. feature, I think. Well, I liked it so much. I'm doing it twice. So <laughs> cool. Okay. So nice, you're doing it twice. Yep. Who is next? Paul. Paul. Paul, too. You back over here, Chris? No, I'll you're there. Swear. You're there. I'll swear. Yeah, you go, Paul, and then I'll go with uh, Dave and, and okay. Alan. All right. So, Paul, you. Well, can, I, can I pause you? What's it say on the headstock, Paul? Skeeter Mac? Skeeter Mac. Have you ever had Skeeter Mac at the Dave's Hot Chicken? Mm -hmm. It's That's good, good, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So, good. we're going to. We're going to do yours a little different, Paul. Well, first of all, Paul, who are you and where are you from? I'm Paul. I'm from Hoboken, New Jersey, right outside Manhattan. Home cool. of Sinatra and baseball, as they always tell us. Say, say that again. Where? Hoboken, New Jersey. Right right outside of? Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. Manhattan. 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 Yeah. Manhattan. New York. So let's talk about pickups first because okay. you did you did us something a little different these yeah. are not the pickups you well no because you were not doing jazz masters but i had these anyway right right on cool so um so talk to me about making pickups for your first time what okay. did you think of it why did you want to do it like give me the whole well whole run in short uh for my whole life i've been obsessed with guitars and music and knowing every little detail of how they work including the pickups and during the pandemic, with nothing to do but sit at home and watch TV, <laughs> as most of us did, I learned a lot more and how I discovered your videos and Matt and Chris's videos and so forth, and learned about how pickups are made and the different types. And when I had the chance to sign up for this class, in addition to the pickups, mm -hmm. I said, absolutely, <clears throat> thing to do. Yeah, so you made, I made some P90s, uh, P90s and a humbucker. And a humbucker. And it, uh, the P90s went uh, pretty well, although they were a little tricky because the, the small size of the bobbins, but mm -hmm. it went fine. The humbucker did okay, uh, except right near the end, one of the leads fell out as I was soldering the two halves of mm -hmm. the humbucker together. One of the leads came out and I said, uh-oh, and you came over. No big and, deal. Uh, we got but you fixed fix. it. You, yeah, you were able to take the tape off and find the end of the, uh, the wire and save it. Yeah, and uh, so I learned from that. Yeah, cool. What, what to do next time I have an uh oh. Um, and so okay. cool. and so now let's talk about that. this guitar, okay? Because this guitar is also a jazz master. Yes. Well, it's sort of half jaguar, <clears throat> half jazz master. So we're calling it the Jag Master. Uh, all the custom stuff I put in here is the reason why. Future classes, Matt and Chris have said nobody's allowed to do anything they want, and they may not even do a class again <laughs> because they were ready to kill me, I think. But no, seriously, uh, they were great about it. Um, I wanted to experiment with a lot of stuff, so I did all the wiring ahead of time. And in short, what we have here is the Jaguar switches, one for each pickup. And this one, what they sometimes call a blowout, which bypasses the tone and goes straight to the output. Up here, we have the passive treble bass controls in the GNL guitar style. And up here, we have a series, uh, a parallel, parallel series switch 
and an out of phase switch. And the last one I decided since I had three here, I'd put three here. This has two different uh, capacitors, a 0.033, which is the standard, and an 022, which is the rhythm circuit. But as of yet, they kind of sound the same to me. So I have to play with that. And finally, a kill switch, because I always Ooh. wanted a guitar with a kill switch. Because Jagmaster Buckethead vibes. Right. And oh, and the last thing, uh, it says volume and tone, but they're actually both volumes, one for each. And when I was soldering it together at home, I discovered that if you do the standard Gibson wiring, I'd forgotten you turn the volume off on one, they both shut off. <laughs> yeah. So I unsoldered and switched the wires so that it doesn't ground out the whole thing. And then I accidentally clipped the prong on one of them. And luckily it was a Friday, a week before class, I had time to get a new pot and replace it. And there you go. Cool. Is, is it hard to tune a jazz master, Paul? <laughs> well, this has... 299 special strings and they're not taking very well but i was in, hoping that you'd bite on that okay <laughs> but in in general uh you have to tune a jazz master about four or five times because every time you tune it this the whammy bar gives a little you're going to be um, using that all the time anyway so it doesn't yeah, matter it doesn't what you work it's where true you tuned it. it's true no i was i was i was hoping you'd talk about how i was adjusting the whammy oh, bar yes, while I, you were that tuning. i have to mention as well anybody who takes a class and builds a guitar with a whammy bar be aware that when you're sitting here tuning, can you see the back end of the guitar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt will come up and go like this <laughs> while you're tuning, and you're going to say, what the <laughs> hell? Yeah, what the hell? And then you'll turn around and you'll say. <laughs> and, and the final thing I want to say about this guitar, even though it's called Jagmaster, I was going to put a little logo over here, which I had. But we decided the area was too small. The test local we did kind of started to fall apart. So I did this on the back to make it a little bigger. This is a logo which my cousin, originally from Montreal, created a couple of decades ago after listening to some recordings of my music, I believe. And he just sent it to me on the back of a letter he wrote me. Is that like a ninja? It's uh, yeah. It's just a it cartoon mm -hmm. caricature. Cool. And he was giving I thought it me was uh, Mark Knopfler rocking out. Oh yeah, that's yeah. kind of what it looks like. It's got a bandana. Kind of, yeah. He yeah. wrote me a letter to give me feedback on some songs I'd written, right. and he drew that on the back of the letter. And I took it. So and you put it on the back of the bag. Well, it became sort of the logo, and now I'm going to have to copyright that for him because otherwise he'll sue me or something. Like that. That's awesome, man. And what was your favorite it. part of this entire week of all the things? Of all the things. Probably making the neck, and to be honest, when going forward from here and making guitars, I can't say if I'll start making necks myself because it's, it's a very precise uh, process. Um, I mean, I'd like to give it a try, but I could see, because of all the uh, exotic woods and so forth available, I could see just buying ready-made replacement necks and focusing on the body and the electronics, which I really enjoy. Um, and of course, making the pickups because I have the three pickups I made in your class. So that's going to be for two future projects, one with P90s, probably a Mustang and uh, or M style guitar. And uh, the uh, humbucker will probably go into either a single coil, I mean, sorry, a single pickup uh, S style track guitar, and maybe it'll have a Sustainiac on it, we'll see. Cool, awesome. Well, okay. I'm glad it, this whole thing. He got the bug. Oh, I got the bug. I got the bug. And I had awesome. COVID before I came out here, so I had the bug. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you know what I mean? I had a test. No, I'm awesome, good. man. No, I, I dig it. I'm glad, I'm glad you're able to come. I'm glad you're able to wind some pickups, learn some stuff. And like I said, I'm glad you got the bug yeah. for this guitar stuff. Very All righty. Cool. Awesome. Who we got next? We have another, another Jag, Matt, yeah. Jazz Jag. Actually, this is the jaggle tooth. The jaggle tooth. Why on earth would you well, call it that, Alan? <laughs> well, Paul, and Paul's my friend. That's how he got me here. Yeah, because actually I did not know anything about Matt Chris, Texas Toast, or whatever he said business class. It sounds pretty cool, but I really didn't even watch any of the videos till like a week or two. But anyway, he had the story about someone sneaking up behind him and doing something. Uh -huh. Now, I'm not going to name names, but uh, at one point early in the week, Somebody's headstock showed up with this kind of sawtooth thing when we were all trying to figure That's out right. what we were going to do. I didn't have an idea, 
But that gave me an idea to uh, just put a single saw tooth on the end. Bang. Yeah, what I was going to call it, a snaggle tooth. Uh -huh. And it's a jazz master saw. Heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> yeah, so it's the jaggle yeah. tooth. So, so you, you and Paul, Alan, you and Paul have been chronicling your experience in, in film the uh -huh. whole time, digitally taking pictures. I've taken really, yeah, I always That's take awesome, a lot of pictures. Man. Yeah, cool. So, yeah. so what, uh, what's the big idea here? What do you got? Well, as far as all the parts and things, it's pretty stock because, again, I wasn't really part of the building community, didn't know your stuff. I had done some cigar box guitar building, but that's a whole other thing. Well, you know? Yeah, that's cool. But... Um, so I pretty much bought the parts off of your Amazon recommended parts page. Okay, you know, cool. Pretty much all <coughs> Fender 65 vintage. And I want, I don't have a jazz master, so I was like, and I like surf guitars. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted just a classic sound, I guess. So everything is pretty much uh, straight up Fender parts. Really. Cool. Um, and uh, pretty happy with it a little bit. We, we got to actually listen to it today. So yeah, you got to. So now you came uh, last weekend though and wound pickups, right? And I came. Uh, yeah, I don't think. I mean, you know, Dylan can probably do anything, but it didn't really seem like there was an option to do this type of thing, or at least I didn't know about it ahead of time. So I okay. kind of planned on doing a couple humbuckers, which I did. Which okay, I'm gonna put in another uh, project. The kid already have a body for a uh, Tele thin line. Hey, could you do? So, could you? You could make jazz master pickups, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah I had know <clears throat> a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. Although, you know, again, I wanted something that was just a straight, you know. Sure. Because I don't have one, so. But, um, but yeah, the pickup class was awesome. I'm gonna buy one of those machines. I think, like Tim said, <laughs> or, or was, uh, yeah. I'll come over to his house. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Because, uh, yeah, that seems like a fun thing to play around with. Okay. So, so, okay. So we got the uh, Fender. Locking tuners. Yeah, we got uh, Fender uh, 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 pick guard assembly and, and and pickups. Fender bridge. Fender jazz master trim. You got the whole shoot match. Yeah, here. Strap. And <laughs> strap buttons. Yeah, you, oh, those are Fender too. They are. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, so you wanted to go with the orange color? Yeah, and now you know, again, it looks really great. I want to use it for traditional surf guitar. I have uh, the what do you call it? Surf green. You had a man or Astro man shirt on. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And these guys, Los Freneticos. I, I'm not they're, familiar with They're those pretty guys. much like Los straight jackets, but they're from Argentina. Oh, okay. Really good. Okay. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, yeah. And I had a surf. Did you know, green. did you know, you've never watched any of the videos. Did you know that Chris and I actually were in a surf band together for a while? No. no. Yes. As a matter of fact, we're now. Chris still, I think that I think the band is is in is avail is available in one form or another. But back in when I first met Chris, it was two thousand five or something. Was, yeah, I got a I got a uh, yeah. And 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 they were looking for a new bass player, and so I had short hair then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shorter <laughs> than yours. Yeah. He kept telling me how much of a hippie he was, but he had a crew cut. Yeah, I'm like. That's all right. Speaking of hair, I think we're gonna have to delete this video because this is the only time I've ever seen Dylan with no hat. Yeah, there were some comments. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, uh, there but yeah, so Chris and I were in a, were in a a uh, uh, it was a surf. It wasn't just an instrumental band because actually we did sing. We had a couple songs with lyrics. Yeah, but it was a surf. It was a surf band, and uh, and that's how Chris and I met. Okay. So yeah. So what uh, did, you, did you have a good time while you oh, were here? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, didn't know really what to expect, but yeah, the whole week, you know, who wants to go home? After how hard? Like, how hard it? was it to like once you came out? Like, were you like, oh man, where am I gonna stay? Where am I gonna eat lunch? What like what? How, how did you figure all that stuff out? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we you're had you're, time. you're an, an adult, and we got just... an Airbnb. So that oh was, cool. We had okay. a nice uh, yeah. And actually, the guy we're staying with is really cool. He has pinball machines and things, wow. and yeah, That's actually, really cool. he's a photographer or he was a photographer for the village voice no he way he was going to photograph um bauhaus two okay. nights ago but they canceled the content oh i heard that yeah yeah, yeah. Murphy got to, anyway the guy we stayed with was really cool so wow that's you know we should you should, should give us that that information so other people can airbnb there he was great how, how far away from the shop was it a couple of hours 15, 15 minutes. minutes at the worst all right yeah. cool Cool. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't hard to get here. It wasn't hard to fly in. It wasn't hard to figure out what you were going to do for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Nah. Um, yeah. No, you guys rent a car? Things, lots of things closed. We ran out of a car. All right. Cool. Yeah. Shared, Far out. Shared the place. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I was talking with one of our, our uh, alums, Dastardly Dave, uh, Sir David Dangerous. He was talking about, like, uh, we need to <coughs> add some, some um, 
get get some guys together so that they know you know like what to expect and if there's a there's a guy who's been out before they can you know they can room together something like that that might be a really cool thing and then you guys can yeah. like totally geek out about guitars all night long or in your case pinball and you know the, the yeah whatever, whatever the, the photography guy yeah yeah so you didn't ask to take pictures of you did he uh no provocative <laughs> Um, well, cool, Alan. It was great to have you here, and uh, um, yeah. So, what? So, it's, it, I, I, I dig the the uh, the um, retro cafe from 1980 with the same floor as we have font on the uh, jaggle tube mm. there. Excellently done. Mm -hmm. Gunther 2D spot is what we would call it here. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice work, man. Well, thanks for hanging <coughs> out with us. Yeah, thank you guys. You bet. Awesome. So we have one more guy, and then we're going to wrap it up, and uh, we are going to. Actually, clean up the shop because Dylan is going to be here all day tomorrow, winding pick, winding pickups. And um, so, uh, my my favorite Celine Dion fan, Dave, who yeah, Dave is is quite possibly. And so, I, one of the things that nobody knows unless you were here this time, um, I have been developing a um, what would you call it? like a handbook kind of thing, and you guys were the first guys to get it. <coughs> You have a quote that's going in all future revisions. And it is, in fact, everything sounds like a great idea until you have to do it. Dave Weiss. So, Dave, thanks for hanging out with us. What in the world is going on with that strap? Well, Woo, it, man, that is, do you have a nine volt for that thing to plug into? Um, well, it's just housed to. It, so it's, it's cool. I'm, I'm just giving you shit. I don't think it blows unless you get like the black light or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just a standard kind of telly thing. But what um, is it? What is it? <clears throat> went with the uh, Seymour Duncan Broadcaster pickups. Excellent. And the reason I went with the low output was because in the middle is the Seymour Duncan Brad Paisley Secret Agent. That's is, a great choice because we've done we we attempted that with a quarter pounder in the bridge. Oh. Not a good idea. Mm -hmm. So the way it works, and I did this backwards because I like the telly player series. Uh -huh. which has the because I play like I play like an asshole, so I like having to switch down here. I can <laughs> I can vouch for that. <laughs> so he put, does play like an asshole. So I put the switch <laughs> down here, so you know I want to knock into it. Or uh -huh. not. But uh, yeah, when it, it runs like a standard telly until you pull this out, which engages this pickup, and then you get the strat position uh, four, position two kind of sound. Okay, right? cool. And then. Uh, so yeah, so you you got uh, you got the the uh, swamp ash body, yep. kind of straight up. You know, you didn't go for the contouring, which you know, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's a classic telly. It's always yeah. going to be cool. It's jeans and a t-shirt. And I kind of did that yeah. to kind of hide the fact that it's got this little extra feature. It just looks so plain Jane as is, and then I think it looks terrific. And then you got the uh, <laughs> but it does a little bit more. But then when I was doing the neck, I decided to do the, the <coughs> smaller dot inlays, which I think is totally excellent. Um, and then uh, hip shot locking tuners. Also, also, you can't go wrong, right? Yeah. The what's the what is the uh, what's the what's the what's the logo thing there? Oh, dumpster fire. Let's get it get it close there, okay. yeah, so people can see. Is that good? Yep. Okay. And then and then show off the uh, yeah yeah. yeah the <laughs> I like the back plate a lot. You know, the only problem is, is that guitar is not a dumpster fire. No, but if it were, it, had, it would have the problem. But if it were. Yeah. So but it ain't. But if I it make was. guitars for anyone in the future and they complain about it, I'm like, hey, it's a dumpster hey, fire. Hey, man, it's a dumpster fire. What do you expect? Oh, and I also did the uh, Dunlop. Oh, yeah, oh, that's that's a cool thing. I think the QD uh, is is excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I've always been a fan of this. Uh, other uh, boutique builders did them in the 90s, and I haven't seen them in a while, but... You can still get them. So. I think Yoingwe has that on his uh, uh, signature Stratocaster. The, um, <laughs> he does. That was, I think, the first place I saw him. Mm -hmm. Fodera does it standard on their Monarchs, like uh, you think Victor Wooten. His, mm. Yeah. And, I've uh, heard of that guy. He, he can play. But yeah. Yeah. He's been around. But uh, yeah, and then standard Fender Bridge, just because it was cheaper than the Hip Shot one, but it doesn't move. So I think. Uh, yeah. Fine. Fender Bridge is, yeah. You can't, yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah. But uh, yeah. It, uh, it's a telly. Uh, you know what? And it looks it looks like a hundred million dollars. So uh, so Chris is going to want to know what was your favorite bit? Um, when it just mainly besides having me yell at you every day. Oh, that was yeah, that was like a wet dream come true. No, um, <laughs> it was like a. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, the uh, shape Better of the neck was definitely than, up there, oh. but uh, actually, when just put it, getting it all together and actually sure. making it go, that was it, it's like really. <laughs> 
you know, this thing actually works. It's you know? cool, man. It's really neat to, to see what you can do in five days if Chris, like, cracks the whip. Mm -hmm. No, Chris Chris is very rarely a whip cracker. Well, he cracked it more with the Jazzmaster guys. He were, does, yeah, he had to. This submission. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. And you got to meet Steve from uh, Maximum Steve Guitars? From Maximum Guitars, I, yeah, I've been watching his videos about as long as I've been watching your videos. Cool. He's, yeah. uh, you know, he's a very, very, very great guy. Um, and then, yeah, super uh, cool, dude. Yeah. And then um, yeah. you got to hang out with Dylan. Yeah, I met Dylan. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I I actually like the guy now. It's, it's insane. Dang. You know, the, you know, Dylan breezes in here like he thinks he's better than us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We all do. We just don't let you know. I know. I know. His wife doesn't come over. Dylan and I drink coffee in the mornings together. His wife doesn't come in. She thinks she's better than me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's working because you're on Eastern time schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're mom. We are mountain. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dave, thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks for showing us the cool guitar that you built. It really <coughs> looks amazing. And, and thanks to everybody who, who hung out with us and, and, and spent the week and building, building cool stuff. So is it, you, when are you guys going to come, you want to swing back over Dylan? We'll talk a little bit more about the Next upcoming coming things. Up. Yep. So, so yeah. Um, I know I say this all the time, but if you guys want to get in on this, if you want to make something just as cool, um, and has your own personal spin on it. Link in the description below for the next one. And we've got a bunch of good stuff coming up too, right? Mm -hmm. September. Mm -hmm. uh, November sold out. March. And there might be another one in there too. Yeah. So yeah. the difference being, um, instead of staying all weekend and all week, uh, we're going to wind pickups and build a guitar in five days. So, so I haven't talked to the people who've signed up for the very next Build a Classic Fender one. Um, you and I haven't talked about that. I'm going to wait and spring that on you after you, yeah, leave after I leave and have to come back. But it is very likely that people will go, oh, I want to do that pickup winding thing. I guess we'll see. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to throw that out there to everybody who signed up for that one. I think that's in, I, I don't know when it is, but, um, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. But you and I have, uh, we have a sold out. Uh, workshop in November. Yep. Um, and uh, that's a that's a fabric top mm -hmm. guitar and uh, necks Gucci necks from Steve at Maximum Guitar Works and pickup winding with you. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Um, we also have the Batfish guitar model that we're actually Steve is working on that. And are you going to swing back by? I am. Yes. Okay. So, so we're going to two a week from Tuesday. I will come back through Colorado. Okay. And we will. We're going to quickly sure. and effortlessly put it together and have something cool that you can that you'll be able to see. Yeah, yeah. So, and and this is kind of a thing. You know, you were here all month, and we we you kind of showed up and you're like, hey, you know what? I should build a guitar while you were here, and that and then it just got the wheels turning and, and it became a thing. It became yeah. a big thing. Yep. And it's like real reality TV where we get all the way down, and I'm like, gotta leave tomorrow. Yeah. And <laughs> it's not done yet, but that's okay. Um, we. We could have probably had it done. It's got to be to the name show. Got, oh, it's got to be right in classic in classic reality TV <laughs> yeah. uh, knucklehead style. It has to be ready to the name yeah. show. Yeah. Or we're gonna lose the shop. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna exactly. lose the shop. Yeah. yeah. In the video, we need to have some sparks flying and some stuff and some mm -hmm. some office chairs yep. flying across the room because that's what you do. Yeah. And then an important videos. client shows up or what? Yeah. What? Yeah. So no, that's gonna be really cool. So. Um, November for sure, mm -hmm. and and there was September is probably going to sell out. I, I I have every reason to believe that September is going to sell out. So, uh, but I think people want to see the guitar too. So yeah, that makes total sense. So anyway, um, so you've got a busy day tomorrow, and then you got to get on the road. I've got a busy day tonight because I'm going to go home and watch TV and eat ice cream. Excellent. So, yeah. So guys, thanks for hanging out with us. It's been, it's been great for all, everybody who, who came and spent the week with us. Um, Dylan and Leslie, it's been nice uh, to have you guys here too, even though Leslie won't drink coffee with us. No, T-I-T's. Um, but, uh, uh, but yeah, Chris, do you have anything you want to say before anybody have anything before we wrap it up? Uh, call tonight? No, no. Everybody's having a good time in chat. So cool. Well, thanks to everybody having a good time in chat too. We will see you next time for, uh, for the next live thing or whatever it is that we're doing, I don't even know what the next thing is. So until then, this is Matt from Texas Toast Guitars. 
This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, reminding you that if you're so smart, start your own YouTube channel. That's what we did. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Nice work, y'all. Nice work.